In terms of this trade deal that looks, that has been put together, everyone would love to have a trade deal signed. Many people are concerned that this trade deal is not balanced, especially when it comes to the fact that auto tariffs are not mentioned and the Japanese are worried that Donald Trump could reach out with auto tariffs after this is signed. What is, what is, do you have that concern? I think uh, the Japanese people are most concerned if uh, the United States would in introduce uh, unilateral measures uh, uh, in accordance with the uh, 232 of uh, your uh, uh, and uh, uh, Article 232, uh, 232 of your uh, trade pact, and uh, if that happens, I think. Uh, uh, Japan will lose all uh, trust uh, towards the United States, even after if we conceded on agriculture. And agriculture, I think uh, we will uh, make a, an agreement uh, with the United States. Uh, we have said that we'll go down to the level of uh, TPP with U.S. in last uh, September, and that's exactly what we're doing. And uh, I think what we need is that uh, that uh, there should be some balance. Uh, I think as for the uh, lowering of tariffs, I think we can wait a little. But uh, the more important thing is the commitment that U U.S. would not introduce unilateral measures against Japan on tariffs or quotas on uh, automobile. How do you read the dynamics of the negotiations, um, certainly on the trade level, the, the trade negotiators, but between President Trump and uh, Prime Minister Abe himself? Because, you know, this, this attempt to build a friendship, golf, uh, and still then try to deal with this antagonism, this back and forth over trade, do you see a strong enough connection now that this will help bring this trade deal to fruition? on terms that the Japanese see I, as, um, you know, positive for them. I think uh, Japan still thinks that TPP was the best solution. Uh, in order to meet with the uh, emerging China, uh, Mr. Obama's strategy was uh, that the U.S., Japan and other countries should be the rule makers, not China. And I think that uh, is still our belief. However, as uh, there was a very strong uh, initiative coming from the United States, uh, uh, Mr. Abe's uh, government agreed to uh, go along with this bilateral deal. And uh, if uh, we have taken that step, uh, we needed to do that as quickly as possible. We agreed to start it in last September. It took one year and that I think people are relieved uh, thinking that we didn't go down the slippery slope like the uh, Chinese are doing, but we are at least making a, some deal and uh, that this uh, trade war is not erupting between the United States and Japan. Uh, our relations are more, far more important than just only trade. We have North Korea, we have other issues, so I think we need to tie uh, U.S.-Japan uh, relations uh, very uh, firmly. Yes, Ambassador, I just want to follow up on Kathleen's points uh, in terms of the way uh, Shinzo Abe has, cons can, um, has cultivated his relationship with President Trump. I believe they've met ten times, they've golfed three times, he invited the President to meet the new Emperor. Have you seen anything like that uh, before in your experience and has it paid off for Japan? I think uh, the Japanese people in general are understanding that and I think people around the world, some of them uh, may uh, 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 ridicule that, uh, hey, where Japan is uh, kowtowing to U.S. pressure, but I think many of them are a bit envious that uh, Mr. Abe has uh, uh, cultivated such uh, close relations with uh, not a very, I'm sorry to say this, easy leader in the United States, Mr. Trump. And so I think uh, people would understand that uh, Mr. Abe has been uh, very, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, very, uh, took a really uh, effort to create uh, such kind of relations. And I think uh, that itself is important for us. Uh, and in order to continue that relations, 
uh, I think uh, this uh, trade deal, I think, would uh, uh, help. And as I said, U.S.-Japan relations mm -hmm. is far bigger than just trade. And I think uh, we need to keep good relations with uh, any American leader. Well, we have focused a lot on uh, auto tariffs when discussing the trade deal, but it's worth uh, considering agriculture as well, and particularly the desire of U.S. rice growers to have greater access to the Japanese market. But I do find that rather curious. Is there even a market in Japan for U.S. rice? Do consumers <laughs> eat it? Uh, I think uh, uh, Japan is... Uh, uh, as for rice, uh, I don't think uh, uh, there'll be any drastic uh, uh, sort of uh, measures, uh, but I think uh, for uh, uh, beef, uh, pork, and uh, I think eventually uh, corn as well, uh, we are going to import uh, more from uh, U.S. And what's important is that the U.S. had been behind other countries like Australia uh, because the U.S. didn't uh, join uh, TPP, but now uh, that the U.S. On, is on equal footing with other TPP members uh, because uh, we are having this bilateral deal, and I think uh, that gives a lot of comfort to uh, U.S. farmers. And that's exactly what Mr. Trump was seeking for. Uh, another quick question, sir. Uh you mentioned North Korea. You mentioned some of the very common concerns that Japan and the U.S. have. How do you see that moving ahead? I think uh, it's a good thing that uh, North Korea has not done any nuclear testing for uh, two years now. And I think that's, uh, uh, I think we have to thank Mr. Trump for that. What is important for us is that North Korea would not launch any uh, middle-range missiles like Tepidon or Nodon, which may reach Japan. And they have launched that in past. And I hope that U.S. would not say that we don't care. It's not reaching us. Then all Japanese will lose trust towards the United States, if U.S. ever said that. 